Hey, what's up guys? Mirai here with an overview of what you might consider a hidden feature of Ice Boxer. I say hidden because it's not blatantly obvious from looking at the default UI, this feature is available. But before getting started, I want to make it clear that this video is just meant to introduce Ice Boxer users to the feature itself and let them know that it exists. I won't be going into any incredibly specific examples because there are way too many theoretical combinations of possible targets for me to cover. So looking at the default list of targets, you've got window current, all with current, all without current, specific slots, specific characters, and maybe some action target group stuff down here at the bottom. But sometimes this feels kind of limited. I mean, what if you want to mix and match these targets, or maybe you need a more specific target for a certain action? You could just create a ton of action target groups to cover every possible situation that you think you might ever encounter, but that's probably going to add a bunch of bloat to your profile very quickly. Fortunately, Iceboxer allows the user to create their own, more specific targets on the fly. Naturally, there's a wiki entry that covers this, and it shows that you can type in your own target for literally anything that you'd need to do. The top of the wiki entry is pretty straightforward and covers the different ways that you can shorten the names of the existing targets found in the default list. So standard targets such as window current, all with current, all without current, they get their own less wordy alternatives like self, all, and all other. I'm not going to read this list verbatim because it's, it's right here in the wiki. You might recognize some of these, you might not, but it's good to become familiar with them if you plan on using this feature. Now, the table in the second half of the entry is where things get a little bit more advanced and possibly a little complicated. It shows the different operators that are available and how they can be used. So first off, there's grouping, which is never used by itself and is always used with another operator because it's used to enforce an order of operations. You can see how this works in some of the later examples, but the parentheses are used in the same manner as they would be in an algebraic equation. Next is union, and it's used when you want to combine a list of targets. You can just list a set of targets and separate each of them with either a comma or a vertical bar to create a new final target. Pretty simple and straightforward. Then there's intersect, and again, this is just as simple as the examples look. Intersect allows you to combine either single targets, groups of targets, or a combination of both in order to create a brand new final target. This is also where you begin seeing how the parentheses of grouping can be used. Next is not, and the not operation removes all specified targets that are listed to the right of the operator from the final target itself. Now, because I think that might sound a little confusing, I'm going to talk through a common example here. The default target of Iceboxer's repeater is set to all without current, which includes every slot in your character set. If you add another slot, say a DX nothing window to your character set, you normally wouldn't want to repeat to that DX nothing window, but you still want to repeat to the rest. So you'd use the new target, all other and not DX nothing for your repeater. In plain English that says, repeat to every other slot in my character set, except for DX nothing. Hopefully that makes a little bit more sense. And finally, there's both modulo and select. And since they both pretty much do the same thing with one minor difference, I'm going to cover them together. So these operations can only be used with a group of targets that you specify. And when using either of these, you're telling Iceboxer that you want an action to be sent to a specific window number or character of the specified group. The only difference between them is that if the specified character or window number doesn't exist within that group, Modulo will then wrap around to the beginning of the list to find the first available target whereas select will just stop. However, there's one catch to using these operations if they're being paired up with an action target group because ATGs are dynamically ordered. Fortunately, there's a way to force a specific order of an ATG by using the intersect operator with another target, like all. So the example that I'm showing on screen will always choose the character in the healer's ATG with the lowest slot number, regardless of when they joined that ATG. 
Well, I'd say that about covers the quick and dirty basics of the Advanced Targets feature. As always, if you have any further questions, comments, or concerns, please visit the Icebox or forum or the live chat.